Greetings, members and friends of Faith Lutheran Church. Pastor Dale here, bringing you a greeting from the fireside room here at church. And we do wish that you could be with us. We miss gathering for worship, for book studies and Bible studies, for all the support groups that meet. But we continue to follow the guidelines of our governor and the CDC. So we will continue to do that as our policy. I want to thank you for your ways that you support your ministries at Faith. We continue to support families moving forward, Common Hope Guatemala, Crystal Obrero, Public Safety Ministry, and all of our other ministries that we support. So we thank you for your ongoing support. Also, you're helping to support our staff. Staff is doing a great job. We continue to meet virtually every week to check in, to continue our ministry. So thank you for your support of our staff. And I want to thank our church council and executive committee for your ongoing work. We do continue to meet regularly to watch how things are going, to plan for a future, to think about next steps, um, to be sure we're being good stewards of your offerings and keeping up with our financial commitments as well as encouraging giving. So thank you for the many ways that you support in terms of next steps, we will continue, as I mentioned, to follow the governor's guidelines and guidelines by the Centers for Disease Control best practices. We want to be especially concerned about those most vulnerable to the coronavirus so that we don't unintentionally have anyone get infected by a meeting together at church. So we will open up the possibility of groups of 10 or less to meet following those guidelines of physical distancing. We encourage wearing masks to be six feet apart, um, knowing that the virus is most spread by aerosols. That is those particles that come out of our, our mouth um, when we talk. Unfortunately, when we sing is one of the ways that the aerosols go out, um, when people cough or sneeze. So it's very easy to transmit those virus particles um, just by normal contact. So we want to have best practices for keeping everyone safe. We will continue to meet virtually for worship, and I hope that you've been able to join us on Sunday mornings at 9, and then you can join anytime. Those services are recorded, so you can go to the website, Facebook page, YouTube uh, and worship with us at your leisure, whenever it works for you. We are working on continuing to do that even when we are able to gather by setting up live streaming or simulcast. So we are learning things during this time that, um, that have forced us to be creative. And your staff has been creative, doing great work, as well as other ministry area leaders. So thank you to all of our volunteers that help to lead our committees and ministry areas, church council staff, and for you members. So thank you. We will continue to follow those guidelines of the governor. We are fortunate to have Richard Scott as our council president. Richard, who also uh, serves in his full-time job as the uh, COVID-19 Unified Command and Incident Co-Commander and also he's Deputy Director of Health Services for Carver County. So um, Richard is a great asset to us. And so we will continue with best practices. We look forward to those days when we can gather again, when we fill the building, but that may be a ways off. So we ask for your patience. Um, there have been churches, and you'll hear about churches that are gathering again. I read an article in the New York Times just this week where a church They've been gathering for a couple of weeks. They sort of ignored the warnings. And then there was an outbreak of the virus. Several people got very sick. One of the members died. So that church has discontinued meeting. I believe that is what will be happening in the next month or so as some churches decide to gather. Um, but as I said, talking, singing together is um, one way that the virus is spread. And you've heard other stories of choirs that met and several of the members were infected. So we want to be very careful and very deliberate and uh, not put anybody at risk. I don't want to be responsible for gathering people together and then have someone get very sick or die. So that's 
where things are, I encourage you to contact me by email if you have questions, concerns, if you have concerns about other people. Please always feel free to contact me or any of the staff or church council. We do thank those new council members that have joined us now. So we have uh, three new members on our council, Rob Dansayer and Sue Munson-White, as well as Jessica Hartman. So we welcome them. Um, and you can go to the website, look under About Us, and see Church Council and ask, ask those questions. This is your church. We are here to serve you, to serve God, to fulfill our mission, to learn, serve, and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Our vision statement to be a dynamic, worshiping community where all are growing in their relationship with Jesus Christ, one another, and those beyond our walls. And our tagline, inclusive grace, contagious love. Um, good stuff. And we can continue to do all of that stuff even in the midst of a pandemic, even as we are restricted because of COVID-19. COVID-19. Um, so, uh, and it's weird to come to you via videos, uh, but we're getting used to it, and we hope it doesn't go on forever because we know this too will pass. God is faithful, will lead us, and I invite you to continue to pray and support for us, for your neighbors. May God bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. Bye for now.